Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Arif Fikri bin Muhammad Sobri and I want to give feedback from seminar that my class did. So let's get started. Before I go to the to the point of this seminar, I want to explain about the finance, financial scam and e-payment. The first is financial scams. It's fraudulent activities tricking for tricking individual individuals for financial gain through meet, method like phishing, impersonation, and investment frauds. For the e-payment, digital transaction without physical cash using methods such as credit cards, mobile wallets, online banking, and cryptocurrencies for convenience and accessibility. So, how to protecting yourself for financial scams? So the first is protecting yourself. First and foremost, never trust offer that seem too good to be true, whether it's a job, a service, or financial assistance. Scammers often use use enticing offer to lure unsuspecting individuals. So the second is verify before depositing. Before depositing any money, always verify the legitimacy of the offer with relevant enforcement agency. Don't make any financial um, don't make any financial commitment without ensuring the authenticity of the opportunity. So the third is beware of suspicious links. Be cautious of suspicious web links received through SMS or email. Avoid clicking on them as they might lead you to fraudulent website and mean to steal your personal information. So lastly is download downloading apps. When downloading apps, make sure you to use official platform like Google Play Store, App Store, or Huawei App Gallery. Downloading from other sources may expose you to potential harmful applications. So for the Macau scam, typically involve scammers posing an official from authorities like the police or bank representative. They manipulate victims by creating agency and fear. So here are some crucial pieces of advice. The firstly is be skeptical of unexpected call or message claiming to be f- to be from official sources. Authorities usually don't contact individual out of the blue for sensitive matter. So the second is always verify ad- always verify the identify of the caller. Ask for official identification and contact the relevant institution directly using official contact details, not the provided by the caller. So the third is stay calm. Scammers create a sense of urgency to catch you off guard. So take a moment to assess the situation and don't rush into any decisions. And lastly is never share person personal or financial information over the phone, especially if you did not initiate the call. Legit, legit, legitimate authorities won't ask for the sensitive detail over a phone calls. So that's all from me. Thank you.